Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the instant match reaction. West Brom's the Albion nil, Everton nil at the Hawthorns. Uh, yeah, it was what a rubbish game that was. Um, easily, Sal, easily Sam Allardyce's worst result, I would say, um, since taking over in terms of performance and, and everything else. I think defensively they were fine, but offensively we were dreadful. Um, West Brom side, 18. Premier League wins, uh, 18 Premier League games without a win at home. Um, and we went there and we, we should have asked them a hell of a lot more questions than what we did. And a real, I was really, really disappointed. You know, and I know people will, could level, there's been a lot of games lately and we were tired, but we just offered nothing in the final third. And that to me is the, is the real underlying disappointment of this game. I think defensively, like I've said, we were we were okay. Um, being really impressed with kind of the way Sam Allardyce has been able to get us into that defensive shape, but against a team that let's be honest, they're struggling on confidence. So their best their best kind of form of attack is to hope they get corners and set pieces and get on the end of something. They're never going to carve you open with any ability, you know, any skill because they haven't got those kind of plays. They've got work. Workman like plays. Gareth Barry as classy as ever in midfield. Um, their best player, you know, and obviously they've got the likes of Rondon and Rodriguez and Robson Carney, who are all hard working strikers, none who with any level of ability that's going to take you apart. But, you know, for us, we just offered very little, and that's, that's why I'm really disappointed today. It's an opportunity to get some points on the board. You know, uh, we had a tough game at the weekend against Chelsea. It was a chance to win this one, win at Bournemouth maybe at the weekend before playing Man United. And we just haven't threatened them at all. Um, big surprise in the starting lineup, Yannick Balassi straight in to the starting lineup. I kind of expected him to be introduced slowly from the bench, but he, he done an hour today. Um, Ashley Williams back in the side for Phil Jagielka. You know, and everything else was pretty much as you were. And, like I say, they, I mean, West Brom started the better of the two teams in the first 15 minutes. A lovely ball across by, it might have been Rodriguez and Rondon tried to flick at it. He looked offside, but the linesman didn't raise the flag and it went wide. And then Craig Dawson should have scored underneath the crossbar. Free header heads it over. Other than that, in the first half, they had nothing. Absolutely nothing. And neither did we. We had, we had good link-up play on in and around the penalty area, but with nothing at the end of it. Um, Dominic Calvert-Lewin just couldn't get into the game. I thought, I thought Balassi at times was good. You know, he showed, showed some good touches on the ball, good strength and ability, a little bit of pace, power, and that's what we need. We need him fully fit because he's we haven't got anyone like him in the squad. Um, but other than that, we were... Everything was in front of West Brom. We knocked it around quite nicely. We dealt, like I say, defensively. We were fine. Uh, but offensively, just that's where, to me, this team, that's where Sam Allardyce's work has got to be done. And even in the player recruitment, we need we need a left-back, Cucu Martina, oh, yeah, whatever. But, you know, people got, well, he defended, okay, well, he did, but three times he almost cost us a goal by switching off or, or being too weak. He, he offers us nothing crossing the halfway line, absolutely nothing. We had a good little build-up at the end. We got a rare break and Davis played it in and went. He only had to give him a wall pass and hit it out under no pressure. And that it's just not good enough. It means we're, we're like that along the pitch. John Joe Kenny's up this side and then everything else falls back and easier. So we're totally lopsided when we're attacking and that's why the moves break down. I think we need a, a good, strong front man who can get hold of it. We need a left back and we need another midfield player who's quick with the ball. Schneidlin. Thought he'd done okay. Well, no, he played well, to be fair to him, and what he had to do, but he's just not quick enough, and there's no urgency from him to get it forward. And if you watch us, we can't be this laboured all the time and progress. So the the key areas is the recruitment. Um, came out for the second half, he left it the same. It was all right, Balassi again, a couple of nice touches, and we looked like things may come off for us with a good little move. Didn't Just didn't quite come off between Balassi and Calvert-Lewin, but we were a bit more of a threat. Um, and then he made the changes and he had to. He took Dominic Calvert-Lewin off, he looked tired. Yannick Balassi went off. Nias came on and Lennon. 
uh, in the hope that we could stretch them. West Brom continue doing what they do. Mason Holgate made a mistake. Rondon should have done better and then injured his hamstring. Um, but we had the one good chance in the game, the one clear good chance. And it fell to Nias and he was unlucky. He played a little one-two with Lennon. Breaks back to him. It's a good shot with his left foot. Ben Foster makes a really good save with his legs. And it comes back and he actually tries to dink it in and Foster's there. And that was really the sum of all our efforts. Nothing else really to trouble Foster or look like trouble on Foster. Um, and at the other end, they were just getting corner after corner and looking like they might get the breakthrough. But they are very basic. Pardew's only been there a few games. I think he's had six games. Probably seen that to Sam, actually. Um, he hasn't won a game yet, so you've always got that on your mind. But I suppose from us, like I'm just really disappointed in the attacking side of it. It was really poor, and that has to improve. The other side of it is it's another game unbeaten. It's six league games unbeaten under Sam Allardyce. It's only two goals conceded in seven games in all competitions, or eight games in all competitions. So we go on, we've, we've pulled a point back on a couple of sides and extended it on others. Um, and we're six points off seven, so that's what we... You know, that's where we have to keep going. We go to Bournemouth now at the weekend. They've got a late equaliser today, otherwise they've lost to West Ham, which is a bit weird. So we've got to go down there and get that and beat them now. Quite simply, we've got to go there and beat them. There's no two ways about it um, before coming at home to United. And if we beat Bournemouth, then I'll be confident when we play United. It'll be tough, but I'll be confident at home that we could get a result. So there you go. They're my thoughts. Um... Let me know your thoughts below how you saw it. Don't forget to check out Ped's instant match reaction um, and look out for some player ratings, which will be great. I'll be back. See you soon on Toffee TV.